frenzy to, to bring it to work and try it out was also this ping pong ball on the ground at his house. And it's not surprising because he actually has 10,000 ping pong balls on his ceiling. He decided to make a ceiling with 10,000 balls suspended on the roof. And there was this one ball on the ground. So I picked it up and took it to our office in Paran. And that's the ball there, the ping pong ball. And then we thought, I thought, all right, well, let's try and project on this thing. This is 2005. It's not that long ago, but, you know, projection mapping, the term didn't even exist. Um, and we filled up with these, we filled up with these cubes that then we could, the bowl looked like you had an open like a fish bowl, and you can pour out the mouse, you can actually pour it, you can drag it, manipulate these bowls and pour the, the cubes in one from one bowl to the next. Um, and you could actually also mix colours. So each each um, each bowl had that one had red cubes, the middle one had blue and the bottom one had yellow. You can actually mix as you pour the red into the blue cubes that mix and form, you know, purple or whatever it was. So in the last few years. So light um, seesaw we did for Fed Thread for light in winter last year. So we've done a lot of work in the snow, it's another kind of area that we've kind of innovated in, in a sense, where no one's really taken projectors in the snow seriously and done much with them. So we just started doing this work in the snow and then, sure enough, put a little video online and Red Bull calls us from the States and asks us to do this massive project with them. So, you know, we're not just... I guess that was the thing, was projecting on walls. We did it so much that people just like, you know, you're just a ball projection guy. So we really, you know, which we weren't, we just got caught up in it. This is the working um, the red ball. And that really, like, like, we got so many offers from that to do work in the snow. Although it's a really tough medium to work in, so a lot of times you had to turn it down. Um, also just locations, but I've been to some amazing places due to those projections, projections which is pretty awesome. Like the French Alps working with Cirque du Soleil, that was really cool. They just called one day, they just called. It was amazing. This is a... Uh, It's the Humble Telescope. You look up and wherever you, you're looking, you see that part of space at any one time. But again, I mean, now it's kind of, you know, the iPad does that, but that, that was actually quite a while ago. So we've got this, this uh, brief about, um, about uh, their creator, um, well, creation stories and their creator, Bunjil, who is the wedge tail eagle. And um, they wanted to somehow describe creation stories. Actually, some of the words that were saying, like some of the things I wanted to convey was actually to describe Bunjil, who is their creator, it's like their god, essentially, um, in, a, in a way where you can show future, past and present, as in, that it just, it's a continuous state, it's not kind of like, oh, that happened in the past, it's constantly there. So we're left with this, oh, how are we going to describe this? you know, phenomena of this future past present. So anyway, we came up with this thing and we were like shit scared to actually show it to them at the time. Because there's actually this, you know, a huge panel of people um, that had to prove this. And they're all obviously, you know, we're, I'm a Jewish white guy, you know, coming up with what a bungle is. It just didn't seem appropriate whatsoever. Or, you know, just, they, they all had, had the arms folded and going, you know, what's going to happen here? At the end of it, they actually got up and like applauded for, for way too long because they actually <laughs> really loved it. Which is really awesome to, to get that kind of response. But people, because it was video, that medium, people were just wanting to see the next visual. Isn't that how I, that's what I observed or the feedback that I got, you know. It's, it, one visual is just never enough. And it's a kind of thing that I guess we're facing you know, you see something, you create something, and then you kind of, you almost get, you become, I don't know, you just want to see more. So, we were left with this issue of,
how do we create a system that can constantly evolve the visuals or generate its own visuals? So the pixel was the well, there's a 3D world that is that ramp, but this is a real. And then we project the real life those, those windows onto the real thing. Um. Okay, so that's me. Um, and what we've done is, um, it's so weird talking to people. <laughs> I ordered mine when I saw pictures of yours, so I'm expecting mine like to the end of the year or something. Feels totally comfortable in there. Like, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah
um, we, we look is probably get away with calorie. Basically, whenever you hold the hair, the thing in my heart, and then you try to get it on you. Whereas, you know, when they get your eyes, they're like, you want to listen to my eyes, and it's getting something from it. Because what we want to do is, yeah, so if you look on here, yes. See, uh, uh, those guys here, that's in the very top left of your field of view. So this stuff here doesn't really get seen that much. Um, so again, like, you know, you're losing a bit of resolution. But <laughs> it's like, what was it? Yeah, because it was all distorted. Yeah, yeah. It's like, whoa. It's still strangely satisfying. Yeah, yeah. Go, it's, it's like, holy shit, I'm actually in yeah, this space. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so glad it's my first time with it. I can actually see my body in it. Yeah. I was seeing the first time it would be Tuscany or something like that, where it would be like... Yeah, I, I mean, I, I could have thrown that, that demo up, but mm. yeah, everyone can see it on, online. I thought we'd show what we'd Yeah, we'd for sure. Um, also, if you guys order one of these, we'll be releasing like um, small prototypes of this kind of stuff that will be online on our website. So we'll have little demos and stuff you can play with. So if you do get one, um, hit us up and so we can send you stuff. And you dra literally drag like, um, and they have their own presets. You drag in a preset which has two cameras set up, and has the lens distortion on it, and uh, the head tracking feed straight back into that. And you drive um, I hope that there's even any new drives. You don't have to install any drivers at all. You, you literally plug it in, it comes up as another monitor, and then in Unity or whatever program you've got, it, it has all the DLL files that are necessary to run the... Um, it's basically the tracking is sent through a USB cable, and that's pretty much it, just a screen and tracking. The main yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, um, yeah, so yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to make a bit of room in my joint. Um, yeah. Stacey, have a look behind you, like, fully. <laughs> but also, I just wanted to say, um, as far as the hackerspace thing goes, does anyone have any cries? Yeah. Or, like, I don't know if you have any